Welcome to the Games Freak. Snares football games were shot. 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 When people mention football games on the Super Nintendo, and I say SNES football games were shite. Everyone always mentions good old international superstar soccer. So, this is the chance to try that little bad boy out and see if it stands the test of time. So here we go. This is Richard. This is Games Freezer's look at SNES football games, um, which were pretty shite, but there are some good ones out there. Now, I'm coming clean straight away I'm putting this on easy I have been toiling away at this game trying to get good at it again because back in whenever this came out in the 90s I uh, I was good I played this very uh, often played it competitively with my friends and was good I've had a few days on this now and I'm I'm nowhere near a standard to be able to beat just the normal, um, just the normal teams. So uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's a controller thing. Let's blame the controller. I'm using a um, Xbox uh, 360 joypad rather than the obviously the original Super Nintendo. Right. So let's be England, obviously, and we're going to play an open game. The problem with the um, cup competitions, which I normally use to so we'll show you how these games are. Um, in the cup competitions, you can't bring the half down to three minutes. You can choose it in the uh, in the options, but it doesn't work in the in the actual tournament, which is annoying. Right. Okay. Let's have a look at a team: Banks, Walker, Gordon Brown, that illustrious politician who is now a footballer. B. Wright, mm. Charlton, Hoddle, bit of Platt. J. Platt, Morley, Carlin, who plays rugby, surely. Yeah, let's put Gazza in there. Right, okay, uh, a bit of tactics. Uh, let's be offensive in the midfield. Nice and offensive up front. Nice. Right. Uh, yeah, I did choose that, yep. Oh, no, I need to do this bit. And I want to play all out of fence. Great stuff. Stadium, so England or Germany at home. We have England, choose the grass. All these stuff. Right, fouls on, yellow cards on, offsides on. Hines, baked beans, re refereeing, he lets most things go. Classic team colours there, no need to do the sound. And we're off. Exchange the pennants in the middle. Lovely. Towels never fouls, I say. Ooh. Towels never fouls. Woohoo. Right. Uh, always have the ball from kickoff. If you win the toss and away, we are about to go here at Wembley as I walk past the ball. Mm. Right. First thing that strikes me playing this game. I've had, a, obviously, a few games on this trying to warm up to it. Um, is generally the passing isn't great. Oh, where's my shooting balance? Oh, it's lost the header there. You got to time your jumps. Got to time your jumps well in the midfield in order to win that header. Um, but yeah, the passing's not. Oof, passing's not great because it restricts you on where you can pass. It's only kind of certain angles that you can pass to and then wh whoever you're passing to doesn't seem to make an effort to get to the ball so there's a lot of the times when they'll just stand there and the oppo player will uh, nick in front of them and nick it off them um, this was the first in the series of um, the international superstar soccers and from memory the deluxe version is a big improvement oh good shot um, yeah, the deluxe version back in that was a lovely chest. Go on, have a dig. I oh, see it. Slam it straight into your man. Morley on the wing. Gets robbed. Yeah, deluxe was a big improvement from memory. 
Um, hopefully it improves on things like the passing. But overall, it, it's a lovely looking game for the time, especially. Football games weren't always great to look at, but this is a, it's a nice a nice um, view. Alright, let's get some passing going. Yeah, just about made it there. So remember, this is on easy, right? So there's still no pushover. They still defend pretty solidly. Oh, that's annoying. You've got a run button and um, you run to get the ball and then you let go but the animation's still going on. So you'll run the ball out often because of that, which is annoying. Come on, let's build a move. Let's build a move, lads. See what we can do. Straight down the keeper's throat. Too easy. Just warming up. Do you like the jungle drums in the background? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Get over there, get over there. Nice diving head up. Oh, oh. Blimey. We're opening ourselves up here, aren't we? Keepers lobbed it straight out to them. Oh. See, that's the thing with the passing. It's kind of. It's not the way you're facing. It attracts itself to the, the player. Oh. So you can't be clever with your passes. You've basically got to have an open player you can't kind of pass into space if you get what I mean it's quite annoying this is where ISS oh off the post oh. ISS Pro Evolution changed the game um, I think even ISS Pro 98 as well they had a free ball button you could put it into space go on oh, off his ass. number one rule of defending don't turn your back oh Great save keeper. Don't turn your back on the ball. He's turned his back on the ball and saved it with his ass. Nice. Um fairly fast pace though. Good uh, good flow to it. It's one of them games I think. Oh nice save. Uh, once you put the hours in talking hours, working out your best tactics of scoring which from memory was slamming it against the keeper and then getting a player in position to for the follow up to tap it home in memory that was how I scored most of my goals you don't score many from kind of outside the area slotting it into the top corner that doesn't happen often in this game um, again from memory and from my few days of playing it again there you go first half bit of a bit of an end-to-end -end shoot fest look nine shots from us four from them they they've hit the post we've hit the post keepers made some good saves all our players are happy with their smiley faces uh, yeah let's go oh no we don't want to go more defensive do we what am i doing so we switched ends it's the other way around let's see it go a bit more offensive up front See if we can eke out a goal. Gotta admit that um jungle drums and crowd noise does get on your tits. Oh strands into Clar hold. Looking wide back heel straight to us. Here comes Hoddle into Charlton. Looks inside to Gaza. Why a man the ginger Gaza? Get up. Nice header, diving header. No one to mop it up though. There's Clar Hold. Streaks forward. Nice slide. It's actually really hard to time. Oh, this through. Oh, great save. Gordon Brown gets a block in as well. And a diving header into the <laughs> into the advertising holdings. Right. Let's line up for this corner. It's annoying that the camera pans around like that whenever there's a corner. Get up. Oh, he's trying to back heel it. Oh, oh my god. Desperate defending. Oh, it's a diving header to save a certain goal. Wow. That is solid defending. Putting a life on the line for this uh, Germany England match. Actually quite a decent crowd um, animation there. Oh, get on him. Oh, straight down his throat. Phew. Yeah, the crowd don't look half bad, although they're replicated, obviously, every 
two or three, but um, and they could have done like team colours for the crowd. But there you go. Oh, that's a, that was a pass into space, to be fair. But I didn't want that to happen. I wanted it to pass to the man. So I suppose what I could say is passing is inconsistent. Definitely. Right, come on. Oh, freaking hell. Trying to be clever. Choppers. Cheers, Heinz. Let that one go, mate. First warning. 1 minute 33 left. Nice header. And we'll have the throw. Come on, boys. Stay concentrating. Right, we'll take the throw in, alright. Crossfield pass. Oh. I, uh, oh, oh, nice challenge. <laughs> Cheers, Heinz. Let that one go as well. First warning. Moved into the box by the Germans. Great header by Barry Wright, wherever that might be. Get in there. Oh, what a save. Or was it, was it the bar? Come, on, boys, we've got to wake up. Oh. If passing like that, can we not knock it? Shocker. Again, inconsistent passing is weird. A nice little rub back there. Right, Hoddle plays it down the line to Morley. Inside to Regis. Oh, keeper tips it over the bar. Cameraman takes it in the lens. Right, corners. England dangerous from corners. Camera annoyingly pans around the box when all you want to do is take it. Kind of eliminates the ability to be able to take it quick. Swings it into the keeper's arms. Shocking corner. I'll have to learn from that one, boys. Well up. Here we go. Regis. Ginger Regis. We're a team full of gingers. Tips it over the bar. Although, I think everyone on the pitch looks ginger, to be fair. It's that brown that's more ginger than anything. Oh, diving header, diving header. Yes! Goal! England, England, England. England, Terra. Oh, England 1-0 up against the Germans with 14 seconds left. Well worked corner with a few diving headers in there. And a slam in the top corner. Oof, now we're peppering them. I like the little grass animation as the ball hits the ground after a heavy shot. Kind of like a little bit of grass pops up. It's got some nice touches this game. That's the thing. I think they saw that, and uh, like I say, Deluxe kind of improves on all those um, little things that weren't quite right from memory again. So hopefully when I play Deluxe, which will be in the next episode, we'll have all those things sorted. Oh, he's tipped it over the bar. England opening up now. A great display by the boys. Looking around. Dangerous from the last corner. Got the short option there as well if you need it. Short option. Lobs it in. Oh, he's jumped too early. Well in. Nice. For the cut. Offside. Hmm. One of them ones where you've got no control over that player. So how are you meant to keep him from being offside? It's quite annoying. So you might not even be passing it to him, but because you've played the ball forward, the, the line over call offside. There you go. I don't think many games have got offside right, to be fair, even up until now. Oh, nice diving header down the line. Oh, and he walks straight past it. Ah, have a chop. Have a chop for your troubles. Oh, what have we got here? What have we got here? We've got... No time left, ref. Surely that'll do ya. Surely that'll do ya. Oh, hello. Nice move. Oh, slammed it straight at him. They're the kind of situations where you think you'd at least be able to get a shot on target, but 
the ball seems to magnetise it. So go on, slight, get down that pitch. Go on, righty. Go on, righty. Yeah, ho ho! <laughs> Nearly scored. <laughs> A 50 yard slider. Worm burning slider from 50 yards. Just didn't quite come off. Come on, we're playing some good football now. Again, this is uneasy, I know. And you've seen how I've struggled, so you can only imagine what it's like on normal. But that's it, time up. Right. Not a bad game at all. Not a bad game. Not in the third category, by any means. Um, solid game of football. And that means I'm looking forward to playing ISS Deluxe in our next episode. So, this is Richard. This is Games Freezer. Look after yourself, my friends, and thanks for all your support on YouTube. Keep on spreading the word about Games Freezer's SNES football games were shite. www.gamesfreezer.eu <laughs>